In mathematics, Stirling's approximation is an approximation for factorials. It is a very powerful approximation, leading to accurate results even for small values of n. It is named after James Stirling, though it was first stated by Abraham de Moivre. The formula as typically used in applications is, the next term in the O, is lane, a more precise variant of the formula is therefore it is also possible to give a version of Stirling's formula with, bounds valid for all positive integers n, rather than asymptotics, one has for all positive integers n. Thus the ratio is always between in. As an asymptotic formula, Stirling's approximation has the property that the ratio approaches 1 as n grows to infinity. Derivation. The formula, together with precise estimates of its error, can be derived as follows. Instead of approximating n, one considers its natural logarithm as this is a slowly varying function. The right-hand side of this equation minus is the approximation by the trapezoid rule of the integral and the error in this approximation is given by the Euler-Maclaurin formula, where bk is a Bernoulli number and room n is the remainder term in the Euler-Maclaurin formula. Take limits to find that denote this limit by y. Because the remainder room n in the Euler-Maclaurin formula satisfies where we use big O notation. Combining the equations above yields the approximation formula in its logarithmic form. Taking the exponential of both sides, and choosing any positive integer m, we get a formula involving an unknown quantity a. For m equals 1, the formula is the quantity a can be found by taking the limit on both sides as n tends to infinity and using Wallace a product, which shows that, therefore, we get Stirling's formula. The formula may also be obtained by repeated integration by parts, and the leading term can be found through Laplace's method. Stirling's formula, without the factor that is often irrelevant in applications, can be quickly obtained by approximating the sum with an integral. An alternative derivation, an alternative formula for using the gamma function is Rewriting and changing variables one gets applying Laplace's method we have, which recovers the Stirling's formula. In fact, further corrections can also be obtained using Laplace's method. For example, computing two-order expansion using Laplace's method yields and gives Stirling's formula to two orders, speed of convergence and error estimates. Stirling's formula is in fact the first approximation to the following series. An explicit formula for the coefficients in this series was given by G. Nemus. The first graph in this section shows the relative error versus n for 1 through all five terms listed above. As n infinity, the error in the truncated series is asymptotically equal to the first omitted term. This is an example of an asymptotic expansion. It is not a convergent series, for any particular value of n there are only so many terms of the series that improve accuracy, after which point accuracy actually gets worse. This is shown in the next graph which shows the relative error versus the number of terms in the series for larger numbers of terms. More precisely, let S be the Stirling series to T terms evaluated at n. The graphs show which, when small, is essentially the relative error. Writing Stirling's series in the form, it is known that the error in truncating the series is always of the same sign and at most the same magnitude as the first omitted term. More precise bounds, due to Robbins, valid for all positive integers n are Stirling's formula for the gamma function, for all positive integers, where gamma denotes the gamma function. However, the gamma function, unlike the factorial, is more broadly defined for all complex numbers other than non-positive integers. Nevertheless, Stirling's formula may still be applied. If re greater than zero then repeated integration by parts gives where bn is the nth Bernoulli number. The formula is valid for z large enough in absolute value when arg less than pi minus epsilon where epsilon is positive, with an error term of when the first m terms are used. The corresponding approximation may now be written. A further application of this asymptotic expansion is for complex arguments z with constant re. 
See for example the Stirling formula applied in M equals T of the riemann siegel theta function on the straight line 1 quarter plus it. Error bounds. For any positive integer, we introduce the following notation. And then and for further information and other error bounds, see the cited papers. A convergent version of Stirling's formula. Thomas Bayes showed, in a letter to John Canton published by the Royal Society in 1763, that Stirling's formula did not give a convergent series. Obtaining a convergent version of Stirling's formula entails evaluating one way to do this is by means of a convergent series of inverted rising exponentials, if then where where s denotes the Stirling numbers of the first kind. From this we obtain a version of Stirling's series which converges when re greater than zero. Versions suitable for calculators. The approximation, or equivalently, can be obtained by rearranging Stirling's extended formula and observing a coincidence between the resultant power series and the Taylor series. Expansion of the hyperbolic sine function. This approximation is good to more than eight decimal digits for z with a real part greater than eight. Robert H. Winscheitel suggested it in 2002 for computing the gamma function with fair accuracy on calculators with limited program or register memory. Gergo Nemis proposed in 2007 an approximation which gives the same number of exact digits as the Winscheitel approximation but is much simpler, or equivalently, an alternative approximation for lane n was also given by Srinivasa Ramanujan history. The formula was first discovered by Abraham de Moivre in the form de Moivre gave an expression for the constant in terms of its natural logarithm. Sterling's contribution consisted of showing that the constant is 